Dave, congratulations. Thank Considering you. you haven't beaten Danny before and you lost the first two sets, 3-0, 3-0, were you getting a bit worried? To be fair, I'd, I wasn't, because I know I wasn't playing well in the first two sets. And like, he took them two 120s out. And he, he definitely deserved to tune a lot, but I went, I went at the back there and I just thought, what it were though is, I got a, a warm hand, warm my hands up, a warm pack, whatever it's called. Yeah. And it worked well for me, it was like when I put in my pocket, went from my dad to slipping out, slipping even worse. So I thought, throw that on the table and just play in the cold. <laughs> well, it certainly worked. I mean, you banged in the 180s, four sets on the spin, only dropped two legs in those last four sets. That was proper stuff. Yeah, it were, but it's like I say, he, he had a couple of chances to hit the legs, but I just had to dig, dig deep, and that's what I did. And um, I was 2 0 down, and I, 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 I knew I was still in the game. That's 2 0. If it was 3 0, maybe it's different, but I went I went off and I just dusted myself down like I did in the first game when I went to play Keegan. Dusted myself down, just talked to myself a little bit. And I come back, if, if I sat in the 180s or 140s, he's got to follow. And he did that and I, and, I, and I just took control. Tournament average now for this year's William Hill World Championship, somewhere between 99 and 100. But I'll be very happy with how you start the tournament. Yeah, man, but I'm, I'm happy I'm playing, but. This is the best I play for for months since I played in the um, Grand Prix. So I put a lot of working for this as well. So um, when I went up there first two sets, it was, I thought the wife was playing. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'd like, and I come off. I just, I just dusted myself down. I, and I, I'm one of them play. If that was like a like leg play, I'd have lost. I was six 0 down, at, at two 0 So lucky for me, it was a um, set play. Well, you got the job done. Dimitri Vandenberg for a place in the quarterfinals. You always beat Dimitri. You got one over in your last time, though, didn't you? Yeah, he did. Um, well, we played each other. The last time we played, we played. I played him one day. I beat him, and he played me the next day. He beat me. He beat me in the World Cup, of course. And um, I had him in my pocket for a while, but he, he, he's gone off and he ain't beat me again. Not so. And to be fair, the lad is playing very well. He's playing great darts. He's hitting big averages. And when I play him, is it tomorrow? Tomorrow night? I think it probably will. When we're playing tomorrow night, I'll, I have to stop that. That's, but I have to start a lot quicker. Can't give Dimitri a 2 0 start because he, he is playing very well. You've been around PDC Darts for a number of years now and you've seen Dimitri come from a young kid to become yep. world match play champion. Do you and the rest of the players look at him differently now? Do you see him as more of a threat than before? Nah, they might do, I don't. So he, he's just a dart player, isn't there. We, we can all do what Dimitri does, so whoever does it on the day wins and t tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow it'll be me. You did it tonight, Thank you, cheers. Dave, congratulations again on the result. Yep. Coming back after Christmas, mentally, do you approach it as a fresh tournament because you've had the Christmas break and now you're here until the end, so is it like a reset for you? No, not really, because at Christmas, I, I, went, I went in Boxing Day, I had Christmas with the family, it was good, it was like, not chilled, nothing. Major, like not normal Christmas, we normally go around our mums and we have um, a little party. But this one we couldn't, so um, we, we had to go collect our dinner. <laughs> and then Boxing Day, I got up phone to me, we played on online. It wasn't a time, it was just me and my mate online, like we do every Wednesday, but we do. It wasn't Chrissy, but it was a throw, we got the arm in. And then just fell back down here on, on the 26th, the 27th. And looking ahead for the rest of the tournament, like you said, the way you've played this year, barring after the Grand Grand Prix, you must fancy a chance here of doing some real damage. I do, I do. If, if it, I've always said, if I start one in tournaments, I'm, I, I, I can beat beat people all the time. It just man, if you get the big boys advantage to you know, they smash you, they, they, they take control. But if I start well, I'm, I'm a danger. Do you not consider yourself one of the big boys then? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy, but I've been, like, I've been top ten for eight years. So, but I've just got to start well. Like, you, the bigger boys, if you give them big leads, you can't pull it back. I'm not saying Danny is not a big boy, but he's a great dart player. But I don't know, I don't know what's up me up there today. That was the um, first two let sets. I was, Rubbish. Dave, as always, mate. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Dave, do you think there's anything you can change to, to get a quicker start at all? 
Yeah, practice less. <laughs> <laughs> I come in there three, it was about three and a half hours. And like, I, I, I don't like to sit about, I just like to swim with darts and maybe I should do two hours and have a, and just have a chat with boys and that, but just keep your arming. And well, it, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's like when I play Phil Taylor in 2013, <laughs> only one two legs. I'm like, not do that again. Was it, was it the same stage last year that you got beaten by an inspired Dutchman in, in Jeopardy's round? Did you think it, at 2 0 was another inspired performance that might be against you? No, I didn't think that at all. I went off. I thought, like, I'm not even playing well, and he, he, he's, he's hitting 120 finishes for nip leg, legs. And I come out, five male 180s and 134s and 140s, and hit me doubles. I'll be straight back in here, and that's what I did. You say you're using the handball and there's... Uh, no, nah, I'm not using them again. No? No. I'd, I'd rather put them down my pants. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do them on stage. Is it different on stage to it is in the back room then? To be fair, it was, it was, it was chilling in the back room for a bit. But it, it warmed up when more people come in. Like, it, was, it was chilly. Probably because I'm losing, it was more chilly than I thought. But when I, when I got 2 2 and I come back off, I, I, I felt warm. So. We'll just go from there. We'll, we'll sort that chilliness out. Cheers for your time, Dave. Thank you.